What is the cost of hiring an, an electrician for eight hours? We see here that time is passing by and the cost is rising linearly. So there's two approaches to this problem. One way is simply continuing the pattern and then drawing the dots to see where we end up. However, that method may be faster for small extensions, but for large numbers, it's susceptible to error. Let's try simply building the line equation for this. We see this is a line. Let's extrapolate a nice line equation. So let's pick nice, some nice two points. I'm just gonna pick this point here, any two points. Uh, actually, let's pick this point over, uh, let's pick this point over here. This is fine. So this one here is gonna be, uh, the x position is gonna be one, and the y position is gonna be between 100 and 150, which is 125. So this is one point. And another point here is going to be 0, comma. The y value here is 75. So we have two different points. We know that slope is equal to rise over run, or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This here is my x1 y1 and this here is my x2 y2 so let's uh, fill in these values here y2 75 minus y1 25 125 over x2 0 minus x1 which is 1 so we end up with negative 50 over negative 1, which is the same thing as 50. So the slope here is 50. We have a slope and we have a point. It doesn't matter which point we use. We'll just use the, the first, uh, this point over here. So we're going to use the first point, 0, 20, 75. So our line equation is going to be y minus y2 equals m x minus x2 we can we could have chosen y1 as well but we'll just stick with the the twos here so y minus y2 which is 75 equals m which is 50 x minus x2 which is 0 so we have the line equation y is equals to something plus 75 we're just adding 75 to both sides x minus 0 is x, and 50 times x is 50x. So here is our general line equation. So now we can plug in 8. We get y equals 50 times 8 plus 75. So 50 times 8 is 400. 400 plus 75 is 475 dollars. So when an electrician works for 8 hours, we're going to be charged $475, which is choice B.